Work vlog. Mm. Make sure y'all drinking y'all water. But anywho, happy Tuesday, y'all. It is not a clearance week for me, so I'm praying, y'all, that this week goes by super smooth for me. I do have a busy morning this morning, um, but I'm going to try to stay productive. I'm going to write everything down. This usually keeps me very much on task. Um, I have about four offers that I have to send out this morning. Um, offers really is like the longest thing that I have to do with my process just because it's like so many steps that I have to do when I send out an offer. And then luckily, I don't have to track all my candidates today because I tracked all of them yesterday. We have specific SLAs for that. So I'm all caught up on that. So I don't need to try to track everyone today. I don't have no PTO work, y'all. Everyone is back. For the last couple of days, we have been having a lot of PTO work. I have three offers pending, meaning two, three candidates have not accepted the offer yet. I just need to check and see like how many days it's been since I sent that offer because we usually try to give them like three days. If they ain't responded by the end, then we got to reach out. And then I have two candidates in ready to hire status, meaning they have completed onboarding. I need to move them to the next step. So that is my morning, guys. Other things on the list today, I'm cooking dinner. I've already started that and I'm so pissed guys because I was recording me making breakfast this morning and starting dinner and guess why I was recording in the wrong, I was recording the wrong way. Like when you record on your phone, you should be like recording this way, but I was recording that way as if it was like a TikTok or a reel. So I'm pissed because I'm like, dang, I can't use that content. So yeah, um, cooking dinner, I'm making a uh, gravy neck bones, some rice and collard greens and cornbread. That is what we're eating. It's usually something I would make on a Sunday, but we were too lazy on Sunday, so I didn't cook, so I'm making it today. I have some things that I need to take to Goodwill because it has been sitting in my hallway. I have like been cleaning out like my room and I wanna move any winter stuff to my closet so we we're gonna do that today and just like get rid of some of these boots that i'm not gonna be wearing in the springtime i am that girl that wears boots in the spring and summer but some of those are not really like spring boots so i want to put that up so we're gonna do that and then yeah so that's kind of just what's on the agenda today if you like this type of content go ahead and hit that subscribe button girl i promise you won't regret it but let me get started on the work it is meeting time all right y'all so i am starving we finna move up front because my lunch is here and i think i'm gonna just work and do lunch versus trying to actually take a lunch let me go put my computer down all right y'all so of course i got chick-fil-a i got me some fries three count strips and mac and cheese. I'm a little disappointed because I like my mac and cheese. Like, oh no, 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 they did it. I actually know how to spruce it up if it don't come right. Mm. Try it because it look a little soupy. And I like mine kind of. Mm. No, that's good. Y'all look at my net bones. Baby, they is smelling good. Baby, if your net bones are not falling off the bone like this, y'all, with some rice, this is gonna be so good. I can't wait to eat dinner. I'm finna put my collard greens on and I'll cook the cornbread and the rice last cause I don't like when my cornbread and the rice tastes like old. And I gotta like rewarm it. Like when I eat, I want everything to be good and hot and fresh. 
So yeah, y'all, I'm finna finish eating my lunch. All right, y'all, it is 2.36. I literally been sitting up here watching like YouTube. Uh, I was watching Yasmin Monet. Is it Monet or Monet? I'm so sorry if I'm butchering it, girl, if you watch it. But yeah, love her content. Go watch her. I've been watching her while I've been working today. Um, but yeah, I pretty much finished the bulk of my work. I still have like two more offers that I have to send out to candidates that just came up on my dashboard. For the most part, all of my um, candidates that start on the 2nd and 3rd of April have been tracked. I've sent out all the offer letters that came in last night and early this morning. Um, so yeah, I'm all up to date with all of that. So I'm just kind of like on my little break and I thought, why not just finish up organizing my shoes? I just really want all the shoes that I'm gonna be wearing for the spring and summer to just kind of sit out right now. Same with like purses, any purses that I'm not wearing right now, I wanna put them up and any spring purses that I need, kind of bring them out. So I've already kind of like piled these together. Like I know I'm not gonna wear these in the spring just because they're like super, super long. I am going to wear these, though, in the spring and summer, but I want the space, so I'm just going to put those in my closet. I really just only want, like, you know, like, spring light -like shoes out. I don't know if y'all can see that. Like, I don't need these tennis shoes out, but I'm still going to wear these, but I don't need them out. Same with my little foam runner dupes. I don't need those out. I don't need these tennis shoes out. I only need, like, these cute little shoes I brought these little flats out. So let me just organize this and make sure I have all the shoes that I want out, out. so i got i cleared out my closet well i didn't clear it out y'all cleared out everything in my closet that i'm not wearing i haven't touched i was like if i have not touched it wait a minute what is this doing in here i didn't mean to put that in there um cleared out that closet y'all of things that i'm not using i'm not wearing i'm just gonna go donate it so i'm trying to make sure i have everything because once everything is bagged up, we're going to go take it to Goodwill. And then I can see everything that I have for spring. So I know when I'm ordering stuff, what I need, what I don't have. Right? Because when I shop, I definitely don't shop the way I used to. I definitely try to shop with intention. Like, it has to be something that I need. That I have something in my closet. And it's like, oh, I have nothing to wear with that. And I need something to go with that. Versus just buying whatever and then... Same thing happened all this stuff. This is just stuff that I bought and I've never worn and I'm probably never gonna wear. Like, so I don't shop like that anymore. So I'm trying to get some organization going because eventually I'm gonna have those shelves in here and I want my shoes, my purses nicely organized on there and I don't really want anything in my room that I'm not wearing. Like I don't want nothing in here that I haven't picked up in God knows how long. And I know this stuff could go to some people who might want it. So why not? All right, y'all. So for the most part, all of my shoes that I plan on wearing for the springtime are out. Um, these are just a few extra shoes, of, but these are summer and spring like shoes that I plan on wearing. So I have them all out. I don't have to go searching for them. They're just all out and they're just here and accessible if I need them for any outfit that I'm going to be wearing. So when I get my shelving and I put it over here, hopefully all of these shoes will be able to go in there. Um, I may swap those red ones out for these just because I do gravitate for these more and those are new and I don't wear a lot of red, but I'm trying to wear more red, but um, I really just want the shoes over here to be shoes that I always grab for, which are pretty much all of these with the exception of those red ones and these cheetah ones. I haven't worn these. I don't think I've ever worn those. I bought them and never wore them, but I took them out because I want to wear them. So I'm just gonna leave them there. So, it'll force me to put an outfit together with those. 
Also, I had a lot of coats and stuff on my rack, but I took them off. I left my leather brown coat. I love this coat, y'all. It's like my favorite little coat. It's my leather brown coat that I got Forever 21. I left this up here because I feel like I can wear this on rainy days. It has been raining a lot in Jacksonville. And then my jean little crop jacket, I feel like this is needed. You know, it's kind of like a sweater to me. You know, you pop it on when you're cold. And then, of course, like my blazers and stuff i said i'll keep the black one because i always wear the black one but for the most part like all of my coats have been put in my closet um because it's no longer winter anymore so i don't need them and then y'all see all the disorganization with my shoes i need to organize but we're we're gonna get there guys i promise we are going to so i just dropped that off I'm so proud of myself because I almost never, ever, ever take stuff to uh, Goodwill. I always throw it in the trash. But I was like, no. Like, I got some good stuff in that bag. Let me go drop this off. So, a nice, you know, a good person will get that stuff. Um, well, I don't know what they do with that stuff that they get at Goodwill. But I was like, I'm going to just donate it this time. I'm not going to be lazy and just go throw it in the trash. I'm going to do the right thing and donate it. And that's what we did. Can't see me. Can't okay, trying to see you. Y'all, I miss where he just That's the chef around here. Mm-hmm. I use the honey one, y'all. It tastes so good. So, so. You need one egg. You be like, who's this? I be like, me, girl. You be like, oh, word. But you can't really tell for real. So, I mean, like, I'm like, it's okay. It's just so cute, though. The secret to my hair, my black sets trends. Whatever I want my hair to be, my black is dinner is ready i am done with work y'all i'm actually like super super tired just because i had so many offers pop up on my desk oh my god y'all i think i did at least seven eight offers meaning like i sent out those offers to candidates and i told y'all that's like the longest process um a part of my job sending office because it's just so many steps so i had so many of those today and i usually never really have a lot and then i also still had one more before i left work so like i told y'all i have one full book one full business day um to send out offers so as long as i'm not missing those deadlines i'm good but i'm just like drained because it was like one offer after another um and then i was just doing a lot today y'all see me kind of like organizing my beauty room slash office like getting all my spring stuff together just because your girl has been super active on tiktok and instagram just posting like my fashiony stuff um so i just want to make sure all that is together but yeah dinner is ready guys let's get into it so i had i made some collard greens neck bones and rice and then some cornbread malik already ate i made his plate first um, and now he's just laying down. So now it is my time to eat because I am starving. I need something to drink. Hold on. Got my drink, y'all. Other than that, y'all, I had a pretty, pretty good work day. Um, I really wish it was the end of the week, though. But all in all, and Amir is back. I know in the last work vlog, um, Amir left with his godmother. So, yes, he is back. And, y'all, I have to say that was probably the hardest week for me, even though he takes his trip every single year. It was just something about, I don't know, this year it just felt different. Like, I really missed him. Like, I always miss him, but, like, I really missed him. Like, and now he's back, and now he's back getting on my nerves again. But, yeah, I was like, I don't know if he's going to be taking this trip again anymore because I was, like, going through something for that whole week. And maybe it's because I realized, like, I really don't have nothing to do, like, outside of him. And I was like, 
I really need to find things to do outside of him because one day there's going to come a time where he's not going to be here. He's going to move out and he's going to have his own life. So I need to have a life outside of my children. Uh, so that's something that I learned in my me time that I was like, oh, no. Like, I'm around here worried about him. What he doing? Is he having fun? When he coming back? When I could have just been having, like, my own fun, which I really did enjoy my time, guys. I relaxed. I, you know, was able to do a few things around the house. But for the most part, I realized I was like, yeah, I definitely need to get a life. Yeah,